So I'm going to read all of Michael Crichton's book this year. I noticed, I have been noticing his books on book sale and books for less for so many years now. And I haven't bothered to read them because I have a couple of his books in my house which are all from my dad and I have read them when I was in grade school so I didn't bother but this year I realized wait I haven't read them all I keep seeing titles which I haven't read before and I haven't heard before so now I have this goal to read all his works this year if possible if i can afford it because i'm currently unemployed and i don't know where or how i will get the money to buy them but we will do it i will read as many as i can books by michael crichton and while we're on the topic of reading all of michael crichton's books i have here one two three four five six books which i own of his works and i'll just share them with you by showing you this let me remind you that this will be a rare read for me though i have read them when i was in grade school these books i can still remember what happened to them because i enjoyed them that much so they're still vivid in my memory so let's take the first book out which is the most popular work of the books i have here it's uh the lost world i think this is uh the second book the first book would be jurassic park i do not have that book with me i hope i can find that book but we all know how it goes we have watched the movies whoever has not watched the movies wow <laughs> So this comes, uh, this happened six years after Jurassic Park and I will not tell you what the story is. We all know what the story is. So next book is Congo. Congo, I think there, yeah, there is also a movie for this book. I remember growing up watching and re-watching and watching that movie. It's one of my and my sister's favorite movie. So the story is, um, there is a lost city called Zinch and there are diamonds in that lost city. There are scientists who made a laser weapon that needs those diamonds to power it up so they need to go there and collect those diamonds for the weapon they made we also have a scientist or a researcher i don't know what he is called but he is taking care of an ape or a gorilla i'm not sure which is which but this specific gorilla named amy can talk can communicate with them through sign language and these sign languages are are converted to voice by a speech box or something so they need amy's help because the animals living inside the lost city of zinch is the same breed as hers so that's how the story goes a team a group of scientists and mercenaries going to that city trying to collect the diamonds with the researcher and his partner amy the gorilla and there's a movie on it if you don't want to read this you can watch it it's a very good movie I also recommend that movie. And plus, trivia, trivia, trivia. My father worked in Congo for five years. So this is now something more close to my heart. Closer to my heart than before. The Sphere, this one, I don't know if there is a movie on this book. But uh, so the story is, I'll just read it. 
In the middle of South Pacific, a thousand feet below the surface of the water, a huge vessel is discovered resting on the ocean floor. Rushed to the scene is a group of American scientists who descend together into the depths of the sea to investigate this astonishing discovery. What they find defies their imaginations and mocks their attempts at logical explanation. It is a spaceship of phenomenal dimensions, apparently undamaged by its fall from the sky. And most startling, it appears to be at least 300 years old. So the sphere here is not the spaceship, but it is an item inside the discovered spaceship and it does crazy things to your mind and that's that's it next one i recently bought the rising sun in books for less this is the latest purchase i uh, did and the story is there is a huge party i'm not sure if it's in japan or america but the party is for a Japanese company and one of the floors in the building they discover a dead woman and this story revolves around the investigation of what happened to the dead woman that's basically it I don't know what else happens that's just the blurb and I want to go in blind with knowing what is just provided on the blurb and we'll see how it goes but i know i will enjoy it because of all the books i showed you i have enjoyed all of them and i'll be looking forward to rereading them i rarely reread books but i'm excited for this ones the other book i was telling you there are six books in this collection but i can't show you the book it is called airframe it's in our storage in one of the boxes of my father's books and i will still need to find them to find that book and then i'll show it to you on a wrap up so the last book in my collection the michael crichton books that i have is dragon teeth and I'll just read to you the synopsis because I myself is not really familiar with what the book is about. Okay, so the year is 1876. Warring Indian tribes still populate America's western territories. Even as lawless gold rush towns begin to mark the landscape, the two monomanical, monomanical paleontologists pillage the Wild West hunting for dinosaur fossils while surveilling, deceiving, and sabotaging each other. So this is still about dinosaurs. Okay. Well, it's obvious <laughs> from the cover. Into this treacherous territory plunges William Johnson, a student who has joined world-renowned paleontologist Othniel Charles Marsh on his latest expedition. But when Marsh becomes convinced that William is spying for his nemesis, Edward Drinker Cope, he abandons him in Cheyenne, Wyoming, a locus of crime and vice. Is it Cheyenne or Cheyenne? I don't know. Sorry, I'm not from there. William joins forces with Cope and soon stumbles upon a discovery of historic proportions. With this extraordinary treasure, however, comes exceptional danger, and Johnson's newfound resilience will be sorely tested. So that's the synopsis of the book. So Jurassic Park is with live dinosaurs, then this one is about dead dinosaurs. Okay, okay, I get it. So that's it those are all the books i have of michael crichton and i will read them all and hopefully i can buy the other books in the backlist of michael crichton and that's it i'll talk to you on the next one bye